Hey, happy Naga strong, my Naga. <laughs> Naga strong. <laughs> I just think that's dope, man. Um, that's dope, man. I kept saying happy Naga week, and you know I don't say weak, I say strong. I didn't catch it. And when my aqua said, hey, nah, man, you talking about Naga strong. Mama T, what it do? <laughs> so. Happy Naga Strong, my Naga. It just feels good rolling off your tongue. I can't help it, man. Drop Nation, this is a vibration. If you came over here for the information, go ahead and get in the back of the class. You can still learn something about vibration. Shabbat Shalom, Baruch, our Day of Atonement. And uh, I'd like to coincide our, <laughs> our National Naga Week, man, as we take atonement. And uh, Marcy, <laughs> so I said it again, our national Naga strong. Come on, y'all got to help me. Habits and vernacular, man. You know, we got to be strong. It takes strength to atone. It takes a lot of strength to make atonement and to be honest with yourself. It's not, you know, we try to make it fun for the little ones. And, you know, as we get them off the uh, holidays into our high holy days, right? Our Hawa days. That we remember our triumph. You know, like our tabernacle flow. We're going right into right into tabernacles, man. Just days in the wilderness and triumphing and you know, harsh conditions and still eating and still getting through it and being restored. Our days are about life and restoration, right? Baruch Pasad, <laughs> the real new year in the spring, you know. And it's crazy that that also coincides with the Dragon Canoe. Um, you know, his his last walk as well, man. So I think that's the end of February, early March, man, man. So it's, it's interesting that we got a Tacoom State flow to coincide with our day Tom and a Dragon Canoe flow to coincide with our Baruch Passat. You can't pop off a brand new year, man, without remembering. You know what I'm saying? Those that came before us that fought for the fire to keep burning. So we keep the fire burning. Happy Naga strong. <laughs> Baruch Passat. You know, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? A Baruch David Tolman and Baruch Passat. <laughs> Baruch all our priest queens and priest kings. You know, the Prestor series is all about big upping, you know, all of the Prestors, all the priests. All of those cold keepers, man, that, you know, didn't have to be perfect, man, but they fought for the remnant. They fought for your return. They fought for your your rights, your righteousness, your your inheritance. They fought for you to be natural by law. And Hollywood and American public education has done everything to sever our ties with reality, give us false images, false hope, and false doctrine indoctrination, public Indian schools, they call them, gentrification. <laughs> oh, man. Into our Ruach. They, they want to gentrify our Ruach, man. Nah, man. Uh, nah, man. Now nah, they can't have us, man. Let's go. Let's keep the fire burning. Uh, if y'all don't mind, since I got the fire burning and the water flowing a while at the same time, We all got to keep the water flowing and the fire burning at the same time. Then you breathe in that naive that, <sighs> Wow. Your land back. That's water. That's fire. That's air. That's earth. Managa, that's the dragon. <laughs> wow. So as we take a journey through Psalms, Shabbat Shalom, knock on the sessions. Uh, if it's your first time here, man, uh, thank you for uh, flying air ether, man. You know, you could be flying anywhere, you know, with anyone, but you chose to fly with Drop Nation. And uh, welcome, Belly Flop. A lot of y'all ask me, man, which video should I start with Drop? Cause I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> Ain't no catching up, you know. It's just surfing the wave, man. So don't feel like you're behind, man. You know, just go crazy, man. Try to. 
you know, navigate your way to the beginning, man, around 2016, if you want. Uh, but, you know, we're seven years later, going on eight years. So, you know, you can just belly flop and all the drop. I do, man, I do with you in mind as any new wave surfer. I always think about y'all and I try not to overcomplicate things and make a wave that you can definitely surf, even belly flop in, you know what I'm saying, right here in Drop Nation. So we welcome you. Let's take a journey through Psalms, my naga. I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, you got to start right here. <laughs> you got to start right here. So I'm going to read some songs. I'm going to kick back. Happy Naga Strong. Enjoy your day of atonement. Um, it takes a lot of strength to atone for our transgressions, things that we've um, you know, done wrong to our creator, to ourselves, or to our, our fam, man, our tribe. You know what I mean? So you ain't got to stay with that transgression, my Naga. You know, you've been, you've been hijacked. Come on home, man. It's not for us to forgive you. It's not for us to have to trust you. It's for the creator. You know what I'm saying? So come home to the creator. First and foremost, man. Uh, all praise to We all got to come home to Hawaii. We all got to come home to having a secure breath again. We don't know what that feels like. It's been so long. So many days without a car. We've been in solitary, folks. We forgot what it felt like to have a breath of security. <sighs> wow, what security without no breath, though? And Managa, what's breath without security? You want to breathe unsecure? You want to breathe without protection? That ain't no secure breath. That ain't no breath. That ain't no. That ain't no fun. <laughs> You want the security, but you don't want the breath. Well, damn, that's vain security because you ain't breathing, my knock. <laughs> so you need Hawa. <sighs> wow. It's the only way that means existence. It's the fifth and the sixth letter of the Picto Paleo Hebrew. <sighs> wow. Revelation, foundation, security. And it's a primitive Hebrew root verb that they use when they say Lord and uh, God and Lord, you know what I mean? They're talking about Hawa, which they called Heya. The earlier form is Hawa. No studio tricks. It's just sim simplistic deduction, but I simplistic investigation. Drop Nation, we on a war path and the price is going up. Keep the water flowing. Shabbat Shalom. Raise your cup, raise your glass. You know, you got coconut water? Okay. <laughs> hey, man, you got a, some, some ginger root? Okay. <laughs> I ain't going to ask you what's in your cup, man. I'm just going to say raise your glass, man, and, you know, raise it up to Hawa, raise it up that we are here, that we are guided. Uh, raise it up for the Big Tag, Big Tecumseh, Big Dragon Canoe, you know, Happy Naga Week to you. Raise it up for our queens, Khalifa, Sheba, Queen Miriam, man, Lady Hannah, man, you know what I'm saying? Raise it up for Esther, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, raise it up for the real ones, man. So, you know, we here, man, and, you know, Happy Naga strong to you. Atone, you know, with... Deep reflection because as we bend this corner right here and make this last stretch in this fifth wave, I'm about to go in, man. I'm about to go hard, man. I just want to I want to tell you right now. I took a little <gasps> wow the most I can, you know. <laughs> raising six beautiful babies and you know, enjoying, you know, my family, man, my wife, my queen, uh, my mother, you know, enjoying my mother, man. You know, shout out to Mama Drop. I can't lose sight of that. That's my foundation. If I'm not founded, you know, then we ain't sturdy, man. So, you know, I want to make sure I get that. It's been many years, man. We've been doing this. So, 
forgive me for my absence and just look forward to me popping off and just being on top of things in every way I can and and us being um <laughs> I mean to, to any noggin that forgot what it felt like when Drop Nation is running like at full tilt, you know what I'm saying? Full steam, all engines running, I you know. Just 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 remind some noggins because we about to be here and beyond. So the water to all the Drop Nation, man, dragging sponsors, keeping the lights on behind the scenes. Um, you know, everyone helping out anyway, man, supporting Joy World, man, MHOE, everything you're doing. Da -wa -da. Uh, I got all your orders, man, for any drop deals. They're all going out on Monday. So the water for your patience and the water for following up with the emails. So look forward to your packages going out on Monday. And the water for your patience. I always do everything I can to give you a little extra sometimes because you give me so much extra. And I appreciate y'all, man. So let's take this journey through Psalms, man, on the Shabbat. Psalms 83. A song of a psalm of Asaf. O Hawa, keep not your silence, hold not your peace, and be not still, O Hawa, for lo, your enemies are in an uproar. And they that you have lifted up the head. They hold crafty converse against your people and take counsel against your treasure ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. Against you do they make a covenant, my not. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites Moab and the, <laughs> and the Hagrites, Gabal, man, Ammon, Amalek, Philistia, and or with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assyria also is joined with them. They have been an arm to the children of Lot. How many nuggets are against you? How many nuggets are against us? No, they ain't no real nuggets. Wow. Wow. They ain't no real nuggets. Turncoat, treacherous nuggets, treacherous Templar. They ain't the real Templar. Ain't the real con. They got to join together against us, against us. But now, how great are you that they got to all join together against us? How great are we that they got to all join together against us? Allow how great are we? But we ain't nothing without the code. We ain't nothing without our breath of security. <sighs> wow. Do thou unto them as unto Midian, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kashan, who were destroyed at Endor. They became as dung for the earth, make their nobles like Oreb and Zaib. And like Zeba and Zalmuna, all their princes, who said, Let us take to ourselves in possession the habitations of Hawa. Oh, my power, make them like the whirling dust, as stubble before the wind, as the fire that burns the forest, as the flame that set the mountains ablaze. So pursue them with your tempest. And affright them with your storm. Fill their faces with shame. Dang. We ain't even got to even do nothing, my naga. This is what I'm realizing. We ain't got to carry all the hate and try to figure out who's who. They're going to reveal themselves. Their frequency ain't going to be able to catch up. They're going to be confounded, dumbfounded. 
confused. They're not going to know how to act around us. It's going to be obvious who we are and who they are. They're going to be ashamed. We're, we're bearing our atonement willingly to Hawa. They're going to have to be ashamed unwillingly. You know what I'm saying? But let them be ashamed and frightened forever. <laughs> Back it up to 17. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek your name, Hawa. What does it mean? This ain't just some vengeance story where Hawa is just getting even and slicing and dicing mercilessly, you know, with no heart. Hawa is not going to destroy you because you Moab and destroy you because you're Edom and destroy you because you're, uh, who else? Moab, Hagargites or Gabal or Ammon or Amalek, Philistia or Tyre and Assyria and all the lot in them. Canaan in them. You're not going to be able to say, oh, look at your crazy God destroying everything. Nah, you ain't going to have that opportunity. You know why? Verse 17, fill their faces with shame. Hawa wants you to feel the shame, not just Hawa doesn't crave your blood. You just need to be atoned. You need a day of atonement. You need things to be flipped up on the other side. You need to feel this shit. You need to feel this, man. Why? That they may seek your name, Hawa. Hawa wants you to seek him. And Big Mama, <laughs> wisdom, right, wants you to seek her. And Hawa tells us, seek Ama. <laughs> seek her. Be at the door of the wise Naga, remember? A wise man, a wise Aqua, man, you need to be waiting at their door, right? Well, where's that wisdom come from? Mama. So how much more should you be seeking Mama? Extol her, Proverbs chapter 4. Extol Abba, that means praise. you just praising the father of Christianity. Proverbs 4, extol her. We're putting the framer and the shaper back together again. Just like it was at a pop of a She who takes the ingredients and creates a fine meal. He who molds, he who shapes through the vibration by night. That gives you security. <laughs> that gives you breath. That gives you existence. That gives you Hawa, creator, most high over everything. Let's go. Fill the faces with shame that they may seek your name, Hawa. Let them be ashamed and affrighted forever. So if they're not going to love you, Hawa, let them be ashamed and affrighted forever. We're talking about the ops. We're talking about the enemies. We're talking about all them tribes against us. Oh, yeah, the Ishmaelites migrate. <laughs> all, right, all this stuff you've seen, all these, all these treaties, Mo Morocco. All these treaties? All this infighting in the tribes in America? You're going to feel the shame. We got to deal with our atonement willfully. Or it will be brought on to all of us unwillfully. <laughs> and you will be ashamed. 
you will be frightened forever. Yeah, let them be abashed and perish. Wow. Is that the side of the coin you want? Or do you want to seek the name of Hawaii? It's not hard, right? Somebody said it was hard to seek the name of Hawaii. Let me show you how easy it is <laughs> to seek the name of the Creator. Exodus 13. Wow. That water, drop mission, got that water. Happy not the strong. Wow, how easy it is to, to seek the name. Moses asked, wow. wow, what should I call you? you know, the tribe's going to ask me. What is your name? The tribes of Moab don't deny Moshe. Never heard no Edom might deny Moshe. No Christian or no Muslim has ever denied Moshe. So, when Moses is asking <laughs> the Creator directly, You know, what vibration should I call on, you know, when I tell the people who you are? Exodus uh, 3, Now, seeking the name is more than just what you call the creator. Seeking the name, you know, is also seeking the code, you know. Uh, <laughs> the secure breath is the code, you know. The name is the code. You can't separate the commandments from the name. Verse 12, Exodus 3. So he said, I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve the Creator on the mountain. Then Moses said to Hawah, indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, the power of of your fathers have sent me to you sent me to you and they say to me what is his name what shall i say to them seek the name right and hawa said to moshe i am 
who I am. Now we speak in English, we got to break it down. I am. What is I am? I am is to exist. It is existence. It is becoming. It is to be. It's like saying, hey, it is what it is. We would say it all the time. Like When something just is what it is, right? <laughs> it exists. I am who I am. Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. He didn't say, say, I am who I am. Some people say, yeah. Uh, you know, they have the whole line of, <laughs> uh, you know, I am who I am, you know. But I am is what we're focusing on, right? I am has sent me to you. So this is his answer. Because he's telling Moshe, look, I am who I am. Thus, tell the people, tell the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. I am, that's what I am, man. <laughs> so, you know, just looking at it closer, Exodus 3, verse 14. And then we're getting back into our journey through Psalms with a dragonfly perspective. Check out the lexicon. You can do this in many ways, my man. So, a lot of times when I say God, they translate out of the 430 or Elohim which is a plural, and the only time I started making sense is understanding the framework and the shape. You know, then I understand how they pluralize things at times, you know, because they are really including the framework and the shape of the mother and the father. Even wisdom says, Amma says, <laughs> I am understanding, right? I am power. Uh, Proverbs chapter 8, you know, she's the first of his works. So no other creation popped off without your mama, because she's the very first of his works. He had to make sure he was straight with Big Mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had to make sure it was uh, you know, you know, one one drop, one tribe, you know, one one uh one perspective, you know what I'm saying, that they were sharing when it comes to creation. So I am again H one nine six one. So <laughs> AI, so some say AI, Asir, AI, like I am that I am. But AI is being translated from the Heya or the Hawa, right? And this is just seeking the name. It's not us poking fingers and yada yada and love to bro Lex. We're beginning us on this journey. A lot of us, years and years back, man, just looking at it deeper. Finding the primitive root. So if you deal with a primitive root word, you got to go all the way to the core of that word. They're not going to give you that in your first look. You're going to have to say, okay, what's the original pronunciation? What's, how would they say it in the picto? Not just the modern Yiddish, right? Come on. So it might take multiple steps. You know, they might first bring you to the A-I-E-H. And you can take that in the modern years. You know the name of the creator. A -I. <laughs> Even in Avatar, what they say, Awa, right? Awa, right? So they're putting the W there. Cameron knows, James Cameron knows something. <laughs> so the A-I will take you to the hey -I. And you say, okay. Now is that, is that the first? And then you see their phonetic and the, how they're putting a W on it. And you're like, where's that W coming from? Again, we're just seeking the name. Are they going to give you it in the first click? <laughs> of course not, man. You're just coming out the Yiddish. Still. Because they're putting the Y's with the Yiddish. Because clearly that's not Pictopedio you're looking at. 
So if you want to write the creator's name in the, you know, in the modern, just know you're not going back to the root. And we're talking about primitive root. But even with that, we can dig on some of the meanings and why in these Bibles, in this case, I'm in the Tanakh, going back to this same primitive root word, meaning, you know, what they'll say, oh, falling out, coming to pass, or being, administering. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Existed. Exists. So all this is like a love story <laughs> between the creator and the children. Her children, mama's children, you know what I mean? Appeared, applied, became, became his and lived, became, become, a wow. becoming, been, been done. It's past, present. You don't have to change it to the past, change it to present. There is no time. So it encompasses the past and the present. Continuing, committed, right? You got an oath, you got you got a code to keep. Coming to pass, that's the future. Belonging, belongs, but falling, right? Sometimes you have a falling out with Hawa. Hawa. <laughs> Sometimes it's Deuteronomy 28. You know, you got to go through being the tail. Hawa might have a falling out with you. Hawa might get destructive with you. The mem sauce, that water might be chaos with you. But is it really chaos or is mama, you know, mama being mama? Occurred, right? Possessed, or you know what? That means that the creator is filling you with that breath, man. That you belong to someone. You belong to the creator, man. So all this goes into one single <laughs> primitive root word. And you say, well, why are they saying hall? Right? Because <laughs> that's the phonetic spelling. That W is not coming out of nowhere. You say, okay, maybe I need to study root words. Maybe I should say, hey, my nagas, uh, say it with me, man. Say it with me, man. <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> let, me, let me cue it up. Let me cue it up. Say it with me, man. Etymology. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, that's it, man. Say it. Say it with me, man. <laughs> Etymology. We're talking about root words, so okay. Can we find this hair in etymology? Can we get to the root of it all? Of the bro. Well, Maybe you could stir yah. And if Hijack City loves saying yah, and you love saying yah, then clearly <laughs> y'all got a problem. You should not be calling on the same power. You coming back into consciousness, you should not start calling on the same creator using the same frequency that Hijack City is using. Yahweh and Yah is what Jehovah's Witnesses and <laughs> Others that, you know, are got a Hebrew flair. But we've been asleep, man. We can't have been asleep and know the name. So when we started calling her, wow, that was an original frequency. No one else, no one else was calling her, wow, before applying this dragonfly perspective. And, you know, like I said, love to the brother legs. We kept going. You know what I'm saying? We said, okay. Yeah, what's Yah? Because Yah is not the Yud, God, in the Hebrew, uh, Elion, a left bet. This is their own Yah. This is not your Yad, which means worship. Their Yah means an exclamation of defiance or dismissal. So when they're putting Yah, before way or wa, because Yahweh is Yahweh. They're putting an exclamation of defiance towards wa, which is your security. 
short for the career. Wow, right? So they're they're putting a defiance and dismiss. They're they're dismissing the creator. This is some slick stuff right here, man. This is some slick stuff. They're not using the Yad. And if Yad was the name, then that would definitely come before your Zan, the seventh letter of the Hebrew. Don't you think the creator's name would be before the Zan, before the nourishment, before you get your food? That's why you got the fifth and the sixth letter, Ha, Wa. They say, hey, way, hi. <laughs> no, not hey. Ha. <sighs> It's a breath, Manaka. It's an inhale, which makes it feminine. And the wah, it's an exhale, which makes it masculine. So every time you breathe, like a baby goes, wah, wah. They're literally calling the creator's name at birth. Wah, wah, wah. That's the fifth and the sixth letter of the Pictopaleo Hebrew. The beginning, language of creation. Your Yah is an exclamation of defiance. And that's why the hijack is saying it. And you're repeating the hijack. Aha, Yah. Oh, well. Now you're putting a defiance on the ha, on the breath. Hey, Yah. <laughs> now you're putting defiance on the breath. We didn't know that, right? So you've seen our gradual process, but that don't mean you stay in the same place. You got to keep digging and get to the root. Ain't got to be war. Ain't got to be, be no negative <laughs> frequency. It's just we're studying together. We have to get to the root of it all. Come. So, if y'all's an exclamation of the fire, then what's y'all way, right? Or Yahweh. Hypothetical reconstruction from 16 or 1869. <laughs> so your Yah is coming in the 1800s and your Yahweh is coming in the 1800s. And you know how you got to reverse the curse? What if you go backwards from Yahweh? You got hey or Ha, H A W, Ha, Wa. That H will be just Ha, Ha, Wa. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much did a slick way, Ha, Wa, and they put it backwards and put an exclamation of defiance on it. Then they invented the letter J. Now you're calling it Jehovah. Now they're putting the V's. The V's on the W's. They're changing the W's to the V's like they did in the modern Hebrew Yiddish. You think this is play play? You think we ain't studying? I'm giving you the shortcut answer key, man. So you can teach your children with confidence and truth. It should be so easy to get. A child should be able to understand this. You shouldn't have to study Hebrew for 12 years to break down their modern Yiddish diacritic marks, man. You should be able to look at the picto. The early, before it got turned into the middle and the, the late modern and into the modern, modern Yiddish, Yiddish. But they took the W, W, A, W. And turn it into a V-A-V. This is how they got Jehovah. They got the Hawa right here. You see the sound is the A-H. And now they got Jehovah. <laughs> but the V's are the W. And originally their Yah was a Wah. Because the Yad ain't the name of the creator. It's the arm and closed hand of Hawa. It can describe the worship of the creator. It can mean throw, work. But I don't think you'll be bringing that work wow. in. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> a lot of work. You know, I don't think you be bringing that work in. You know, on your Shabbat, on your Zah. But you would bring the breath of security into your Zah. The Yad describes the worship of your secure breath. But your secure breath, Allah represents your strong power, your leader. And the Canaanites just called it El, right? Or all. And it turned into Allah, Allah. With the El. El, E L. <laughs> or the Aleph in the modern. Either way, it begins with a representation of a strong power. Now, this is your picto paleo Hebrew. These aren't no graven images. <laughs> all, all pictures you draw are not graven images. It depends if you're worshiping this as a as your power. If you took this image and you turned it into the bull and the ox and you started sacrificing bulls and ox and worshiping some wooden stone or whatever bull and ox, now you've turned it into a graven image. image. If I took the doll and, you know, turn it and, and made a portal out of wood and stone <laughs> and started worshiping this portal doorway, then I've taken something that represents the path that you rock with the creator as the creator goes, enters your house and you gather, you drive up and you walk through a door. I took the representation of the door and turn it into a graven images. I took the representation of a strong power and turn it into a graven image. But the image itself, like a dragon, is not a graven image unless you're worshiping a damn dragon. Literally. So this is simplicity. We got to get the silliness out of our community, man. The silliness out of our walk with a walk. And it makes sense for you to get the creator's name before you get your seventh letter or seventh day, your Zion, your Zion, your rest, your food, your cutoff day, your nourishment. Strong power enters your house, your family. That's that that's that ruach manager. That's that fire. That's that water. Now we can gather. Now we can walk through an entrance together. Now you and your family can walk through the same door. Our tribe can walk through the same portal, vortex, to get the breath, to get the security. That's your frame of shaper. That's your mother, father. That's the same as the picto paleo primitive verb. That became hey, right? So we went from, you know, this is just us doing a, a belly flop shortcut of showing you a simple way of searching for the name, seeking the name. We're using the Strong's Concordance. We're going back to where Moses is asking the creator directly, what should I call you? What name should I call you by? Uh, I just said, get out of here, get out of here man. Exodus 3. Verse 13, right? So he says, I am. Say, I am has sent you. I am is <laughs> translated out the Hebrew primitive root verb, hey. And we're getting by searching through the Yahweh, which is the backwards, hey, <laughs> based on the assumption <laughs> that the tetragrammaton is the imperfective of Hebrew verb, hawa. Earlier for of hair was or is or is to be to become all those things we just got in the primitive root verb we just got out the lexicon in the sense of one who is the existing monog. So I am that I am is saying I exist. I am the one who is the existing existence. Your Secure breath. 
<laughs> every breath you take, you exist, man. It makes perfect sense. It's a revelation every time. It's security. It's foundation. So you can call it a secure revelation. You can call it a, a revelation found a revelation foundation. You can call it a secure breath or a breath of security or added breath <laughs> or uh, revealed security. <laughs> Either way, you're talking about existence and you need that to get your food. And what's your food, man? It's your Zion, right? Zion. It's your salvation. And you ride that wave all the way to the top. Two cross sticks that don't represent JC or Christianity, but completion or a mark, a sign, a signal, a monument. That's what a tau. But just like the Wa, they turn the tau, T A W, into a T A V. And that's how you got Jehovah <laughs> instead of Wa. They turn the W's into V's, man. To turn the W Y into the Vav or into a Yah, my nigga. I got no problem with the Yad, right? You can have a name with the last name Yah that represents the hand of Hawa or the work of Hawa or the throwing arm <laughs> or the worship, like so. Let's be careful not to bang on the phonetic sound, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with yeah, yeah, yeah. All these are natural sounds. They just hijacked and formed a brand new yeah. <laughs> That's the opposite. It's something else. You know, it's defiance. It's their language juxtaposed on top of our language. We have our own yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, my daughter's name is Nasaya. You know, that Yah is representing the worship of Hawa. That Yah is representing the work or the hand of Hawa. You understand? That Yah is not the name of the Creator. And that's what we're being taught wrong. Because before you use that Yah, it was the Wa, which represents the security of Him. That need the breath of her. That is your mother. Not a man with arms raised. That's big mama with her arms raised. Because what does mama tell you in Proverbs chapter 8? Hold up, man. I know we in Psalms. Y'all just got me popping off. Mama say, I was crying out at the doorway, at the entrance to the gates. At the entrance to the cities, you're getting this with a dragonfly perspective, my naga. 360 degrees. That means we see clearly. Panorama. Three plus six is nine. We in the ether. Shabbat Shalom. Cold up to my nagas. Cold up to my cars. We got a journey through Psalms. Can I get this? Can I get this one point in Proverbs chapter eight? Because Big Mama speaks for herself. Big Mama speaks for herself. Wow. Wow. Big Mama speaks for Big Mama. Ain't no man speaking for Big Mama. <laughs> Big Mama speaks for Big Mama. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. Wow. wow. So whether you pronounce it Hawa or just you breathe and inhale the feminine, <sighs> exhale the masculine. Wow. You 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 can feel and recognize in your heart bone the the balance, the breath. Christianity just has some man by himself called God. And the mama is nowhere. And then some try to factor in and say, oh, the, the mother earth. Mama is more than the earth, man. Okay. 
Mama's more than the earth. Yes, mama is mama earth, but mama's more. Mama is wisdom, man. <laughs> Don't you get it? Proverbs 1, I mean the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom. That's your mama. And instruction. That's your mama. <laughs> to comprehend the words of understanding. Mama says, I am understanding. To receive the discipline of mama, wisdom, justice, and right, and equity. To give prudence to the simple, to the young con, the young man, knowledge and discretion that the wise man may hear, the wise aqua may hear, and increase in learning. And the man or the aqua of understanding may attain into wise counsels to understand a proverb. And a figure, the word, words of the wise and their dark sayings. You gotta, you gotta have discernment through this language barrier, man. The, the fear or the respect of the Creator is the beginning of knowledge, but the foolish despise Mama. <laughs> Not everybody loves Mama, man. <clears throat> Everyone says they love Mama. Everyone says they love Mama to she's disciplined. Uh, Mama says she crying out at the entry to the city, at the entry to the gates. Oh, you fools. You better not be thoughtless, man. <laughs> you forgot about me? You must be thoughtless. Them Christians made you forget about Big Mama? That I was the first of his works? You must be fools. You must despise me. Why do you think the ha or hey in Picto Paleo Hebrew comes right after the doorway, the doll? Because mom was crying out at the entrance <laughs> to the cities. Right when you walk through that doorway, the fourth letter of the Hebrew is the doll, right? The doorway. Right when you walk through that doorway, you got your breath. You got a revelation. You got ah, you got mama with her arms raised. And she's calling out what she say, Proverbs 8. Does not wisdom call and understanding put forth her voice? You thoughtless? Did you forget? By me, king's reign. Power is mine. Did you forget? I'm your mama. <laughs> you thought you could walk around here and not know me? In the top of high places, by the way, where the paths meet, X marks the spot. She stands beside the gates at the entry of the city. At the coming in, at the door, she cries aloud unto you, O Nagas, I call. And my voice is, is to the sons of men and the daughters. O you thoughtless, here we go. <laughs> Understand prudence. And you fools, be you of an understanding heart. For here I will speak excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall utter true. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. And there is nothing perverse or crooked in them. They are all plain to him that understands. And right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction. Ooh, whose instruction? Mama's instruction. Yeah. Her voice, right? <laughs> Yeah, I know Christians is kind of weird. I'm not talking about him. I'm saying her. We're, we're returning the frame or shape of folk. Ha wa. What they call hey ya or a ya or I am that I am in Exodus 3, verse 13. We're seeking the name. We're seeking the name. We've been seeking the name. The investigation continues. I'm not saying 
a why or why is the only frequency to call on the creator? Of course not. I'm just saying we found our own and it's our own and the hijack can't use it and the hijack has never used it. It's ours. But when you research it, it's everywhere. Josh, Hawa, right? <laughs> Hawaii, right? Ki Hawa Hawa. Hawa is everywhere. And it humbles us as we go through the humbling of our souls and our day of atonement. It humbles us that we forgot about Hawa. It humbles us we forgot the name when it's all around us the whole time because we're talking about the breath, the security. And we've been saying it every time we breathe. <sighs> Cancel is mine, mama. Sound wisdom, mama. I am understanding. Power is mine. Why would the creator let mama talk like this? Mama might back slap you in the face for asking a silly question like that. She's big mama. You walk in the house, take your shoes off, because big mama just mopped the floor. She will slap you silly <laughs> and what she say what what she say go it's her home these are her laws the code the commandments they are hers <laughs> and obviously the house is one right you listen to mama you get the security of Abba you get the breath you get the security but you don't want the security without the breath, without the ah, feminine inhale. I am understanding. Ah, power is mine. You can't throw a powerful punch or kick without a powerful breath, my naga. And you ain't going to understand jack nothing without a revelation. Verse 15 by me, King's Reign. <laughs> Verse 15 by me, King's Ray. Solomon, David, you name it. Cannot reign without understanding, power, wisdom, or counsel. Allah, why? Knowledge, prudence. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all things desirable are not to be compared unto her. Should we be extolling mama, praising mama? Why? Every time we breathe, we do. Oh, you thought that was air you breathing? You thought that was air you breathing? You in the matrix, man. <laughs> thought that was air you breathing? By me, kings reign and princes decree, decree justice. And by me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me and those that seek me earnestly shall find me. So should we be seeking mama when we seek Hawa, the creator? Hosea 3 says to seek the creator and con David. Does that skip over mama or is mama included in <gasps> I am the breath, the security? You're not going to learn this in church, my Navi. This is going to come with revelation at the end of days, in the latter days. And you're going to have to choose up and restore that which has been separated, your framer and your shaper, your mother, your father. Riches and honor are with me. Enduring riches and righteousness, my fruit is better than gold, better than fine gold. My produce than choice silver, I walk in the way of righteousness. That means mama keep the gold. 
in the midst of the paths of justice that I might decree or that I might cause those that love me to inherit substance that I may fill their treasures, treasuries. You need the riches, you need the code, you need the wisdom, right? You need the understanding, my nugget. You need big mama. The Lord or the Father <laughs> made me as the beginning of his way. <laughs> The first of his works of old, oh, period. Enough said. So nothing popped off without her. All of what you consider creation happened after mama and big papa, who they call the Lord, were seeing eye to eye, were married, were together, were, you know, connected. You know what I'm saying? Once they had the connection, the house was born. Creation is born. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, over ever the earth was, man. Before the earth, before the earth. You can't talk the creation of earth <laughs> without talking Big Mama, because she was the first. She was before, from everlasting. Beginning. Before ever the earth was, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor fields, nor the beginning of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. That's why they called him the God of the sky in the proper book. Because just like he says, I made... I. I met it out the firmament, Rakia, right? I beat out the firmament. I beat out the expanse, the Shamayim. You know, I pulled it like a curtain <laughs> for the tent, right? God of the sky, God of the blue sky. She's the mama earth, right? <laughs> I was there when he set a circle upon the face of the deep. Mm. Not a ball, a circle. My <laughs> when he made firm the skies above, there we go. I meted it out. Rakia, I beat out the firmament, a solid expanse. They can't get out. They call it the Van Allen belt, right? When the fountains of the deep showed their might, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not transgress his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, I said the foundations and a ball ain't got no foundations. Body bag for the illusion. The earth has foundations appointed. A spinning ball has no foundations. I need you to go check that. <laughs> and that's why... NASA don't give you no actual picture of the earth because they ain't got no foundations. Then I was by him as a nursling. <laughs> I was daily all the light. That sounds like a love affair playing always before him. That sounds like mama and daddy, you know, we're getting it on, creating, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is creation popping off in your face, but You've been ignoring it. And we brought it together just with the Hawa. By seeking his name, you found mama. Christians put it to the side. Oh, that's wisdom. That's your mother <laughs> playing in his habitable earth. And my delights are with the sons of men and my daughters, my aquas. Now, therefore, you children, hearken unto me. Now you got to listen. For happy are they that keep my ways. Whose ways? Her ways. <laughs> Mama got her ways and her ways are the code. When you walk into a house, there's rules of the house. And best believe those are Mama's rules. <laughs> and Daddy's, Daddy's is there for the security. <laughs> He's making sure it's all good. And sometimes he got to fall back because Mama... Be going mama, you know what I'm saying? Mama go drag it. <laughs> Hear instruction and be wise, man. Wisdom. 
Refuse it not, man. We, we telling you the truth. Don't refuse it. Happy is the man or woman that listens to me, man. Watching daily at my gates. Who told you not to come to my gates? You're supposed to be at a wise man's door. You're supposed to be at Big Mom's gate. Waiting at the post of my door. For whoever finds me finds life. I obtain favor of a while. So, you find the revelation, you're going to find the security. The dragons are going to pop off. The land will be returned. That's the code. But he that misses me wrongs his own soul. Don't, don't miss wisdom. <laughs> Mama's telling you what to do. Don't wrong mama. All they that hate me love death. This is our journey through Psalms, but we had to get Big Papa's voice up in the head, up in the head. Don't hate mama, don't hate wisdom, don't hate righteousness, don't hate instruction, don't hate understanding, don't hate the cold. Keep my way, says Big Mama. What? Waiting at the post of my doors, daily at my gates. Well, Mama says she's waiting at the gates at the entry to the city. Mama says she's waiting at the gates at the entry to the city. Mama says she's at the coming in. At the door, she cries aloud. So it has to make sense in the Pictopaleo Hebrew, wow. the, the story of Hawa. That when the strong power enters the tent, right? Like a tent, Shamayim, I spread it out like a tent with foundations. That's the earth. When this is the creation story of mama creating the earth, the family, the house. It's your story. It's the tribal story. It's you. It's, it, it's, it's the strong power going into you personally. You are the house. Your, your temple, Hawa. This story can be repeated and reflected on all levels. This is the story of creation, and it repeats, man. All the way to the town. Two cross sticks come together. The tribes are one. The town is the Aleph. The, the Baat is the Gam. All this is one. Is the dog. You gather, you walk, you move through an entrance. At the door, Big Mama says, what? I, <laughs> I'm at the coming in at the door, she cries aloud, at the entry. Besides the gates of the city, coming in at the doors, she cries aloud. So after, <laughs> after you gather with that strong power going through your house, your body, your tribe, you walk through the vortex, you walk through the portal together, you walk through this door. Every day you walk through this door. Every thought you walk through this door. Every thought is a strong power going into your house, your temple, and your mind. You want to be metaphysical, Naga? Then be metaphysical, Naga. You gather, you walk in your mind, ball. You take a journey, like we're taking a journey through Psalms. We're walking through a door right now. And what do we get? Mama is at the door. Besides the gates, at the, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the door, she cries aloud. <laughs> you get that revelation, the real revelation, the understanding. She says, power is mine. You get that breath. You get that look. Everybody want to look. <laughs> Everybody want to look at you now. Because you got the look. Everybody looking at Drop Nation because we got the look. We ain't rushing this. We ain't doing this for profit. <laughs> 
But I, we're doing this because it's what we do. What else are we going to do? This is what we do. We drop nation. We're going to read some books. <laughs> we're going to dig on it. And then we'll grow. And then we'll, you know, let the branches flow. And we'll let the fruit flow because we know we got foundation. Mama's at the coming in the door. Mama with her arms raised is crying out. And remember, Those who find me find life. So when you hear mama <laughs> and you're watching daily at my gates at the door, right? You find life or breath <gasps> re reveal. I'm just reading the Pictopaleo story going side by side with the Proverbs 8 flow. Going back into the Exodus 3 flow. I am that I am. Hawa. <laughs> You find life coming out that door. You find breath and revelation. You get that look. Then you can obtain favor of your father. Same, same exact thing as we see here. When you get that revelation, that look, that breath, walking through the door after you done tribed up with yourself. Strong power enters your house. You gather, you walk, you go through a, a door. Mama's crying out, giving you that look, that breath, that revelation. She says, what? Then you can get favor from the Father, what they call Lord. Right? The Father is the wah. They say when a dragon breathes fire, it sounds like he's saying, wah. That's that security. <laughs> dragon fire is that security for that ass, man. That's better than any weapon you could you got in your closet. It's dragon fire, man. Hawa. So you obtain favor of him, you know, after you find mama. You find life, breath, reveal. You get the look. <sighs> Now you've found life and you've obtained favor or security. Now you're hooked in. You got added, added breath, <laughs> added revelation. You got an added look. Now you can eat, now you can eat, man. <laughs> seventh day, seventh letter. Now you got your Zion, 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 Zion. You got your nourishment. You can cut off the hijack. And the story continues because now you're building a wall. <laughs> Shout out to Joy World. You know, it's a representation of a wall. Cedarwood fence. Now you're building a wall physically. You're building a wall mentally that you've now cut off your breath and security, you know, from... The hijack influence you know you can build a wall around what you can believe in and like i said you don't have no yah right here <laughs> so by the time you build a wall and you cut off everything outside <laughs> surround contain what's what's contained within your wall should already be your yah but if you don't have the yah you have to say why the yard goes into the handiwork the yard goes into the worship of what's inside of your gates, your wall. But as soon as you walk through the gates and through the door, through the door, you got your breath, your revelation, your security. You've obtained favor from him, your father, because you found mama and so you found life, not death life.
Besides the gates at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the door, she cries aloud. Awa! <laughs> Don't be thoughtless. Now you can eat. Cut off the hijacks. And get nourished with what you have. A secure breath. Since you walk through the door, tribed up. You know, and uh, your house, your floor plan is led by a strong leader. Strong power. Ah, <sighs> wow. That's all one thing. We are seeking the name. Yahweh ain't the name. They went backwards with it. Hypothetical reconstruction of this tetragrammaton that they added the Y. The Yod. Oh, it's a future tense. No. If your name is Carlos, I'm not going to call you Ya Carlos. You're still Carlos, man. Huh? Wah, backwards and forwards, wow. is hawa. Hebrew verb hawa. Read it with me. Hebrew verb hawa, earlier form of heya. Hebrew verb hawa, earlier form of heya. Hebrew verb hawa, earlier form of heya. Which is the one. Who is the existing? A why? Existence refers to your breath of security. But well, you got to move and walk through that door. You got to gather within yourself, gather your own thoughts. First, you got to be led by the strong power in your house, your temple, your mind, your body, your ruah. So you can get that food and eat with the tribe. Eat with the tribe. The one that is the existing earlier form of Heya is Hawa. <laughs> Not the explanation of defiance or dismissal that you might be calling on. And if the hijack's saying it, you already know it's hijack. You have to wake up and remember and seek the name. Don't be lazy about it. Seek, seek, seek the name. Don't be lazy about it. No, no laziness here, man. Don't just stop at the strong corner is H1961 and say, got it. The name is here. No, no. Because <laughs> these jabronis can't even speak the name. They gotta, they gotta pull you close, but they can't bring you to the entrance of the gates. You have to walk, gather yourself through the door, and this is why they put the W on it with the phonetics. They're hiding the ha wa, giving you the yo. Explanation of defiance out of nowhere, boss. Earlier form of Heya is Hawa. And this is what they're using as the primitive Hebrew verb. When Moses is asking the Creator, What should I call you? I am that I am. Are you seeking a name? Because we're seeking a name. So they went from Aya to Heya. <laughs> but they got all that. Or to Jehovah and Yahweh, right? But they got the Aya's from the Heya's. And they got the Heya's from the Hawa. And they got the Hawa straight out the Picto Paleo. A left back <laughs> in the fifth and sixth letter. I don't care if some angel is named something similar or somebody, uh, Eve is named Kola. They're all getting it from the fifth and the sixth letter of existence. That they're getting it from 
creation itself. What came first, Eve or the pictopalio a left back? Language of creation. What came first, these angels or the frequency that is of the language? They're trying to weave in and hijack and connect to the creator existence and breath and security. But there's only one. There's only one framer and shape. They call her wisdom. Uh, as we get back in our journey of Psalms, <laughs> what did uh, Solomon say? King Solomon, man. What does Solomon say about wisdom? All right. Hear you children the instruction of a father and tend to no understanding, which is your mother. So now you see it right in your face. Hear the instruction of a father and attend to know your mother, your framer and your shape, because Proverbs 8, Mama said, I am understanding. Power is mine. Verse 2, for I give you good doctrine. Forsake you not my teaching. For I was a son unto my father, Dawi, tender and, and only one in the sight of my mother. And he taught me and said unto me, let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live, right? You find mama, you find Life, get wisdom, get understanding, ping pow, that's mama. Forget not, neither decline from the words of my mouth, forsake her not, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. The beginning of wisdom is get wisdom. <laughs> that's funny, funny how they translated that, but you know, he's pretty much saying, like mama said, I am the beginning of his ways. Yeah, with all thy getting. Get understanding, right? Extol her. Can we lexicon that right quick? What are you saying, Solomon, in Proverbs chapter 4? Extol. Lexicon. To extol mama is to embrace mama, is to honor mama. To extol mama is to lift mama up. She will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. Is to embrace mama. Uh, let's see, what does extol mean in the eighteen twenty eight? No Webster, man. Very little, you know. It's a great study of the understanding, man, of the foundation. Because the foundation is all we got. <laughs> you can't be a black belt with weak foundation or else you're going to be a weak black belt. You got to have a strong foundation as a white belt. Don't rush the white belt phase. I love starting, you know, new martial arts stuff I never tried. And I love starting it as a beginner because that beginning phase is really special, man. You know, you, you're you building your foundation, man. Um, never stop being a beginner at something. You know, everybody is a white belt at something. Remember that. 
you know. <laughs> Some of y'all might be a white belt at realizing the copper color races were found here, not brought wow. here. <laughs> you weren't brought here. You you were found here, and you are the con. It's all good. Hey, it's the foundation. Oh, oh, to raise, to raise in words a eulogy to praise. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so extol him that rise upon the heavens by his name. Right? Ja. Here we go. How'd they get the Ja? Because they added the J and now they went from Ja to Ja. Right? But not about his name. Right? It's about your mother and your father because Solomon just said to extol her to raise in words to praise to exalt so we give praise to our <gasps> wow we are praising our breath and our security because we are being told to do so over and over again by mama herself <laughs> and by Solomon and uh, you ain't gonna find no life my naga Without finding wisdom, understanding, which is knowledge, which is your power. So we are seeking the name, which means you are seeking whose name? Who are you praising? Who are you extolling? We keep that water flowing. We give praise to our Amma, our Abba, our Framer, our Shape, our Mother, our Father. She who takes the finest ingredients and turn it into the finest meal, which is you, which is your Ruach. He who frames or, excuse me, shapes and forms, molds, it is his vibration that we are shaped in. It is her breath that we with. But you thought it was air you breathed. <laughs> you thought that was water. <laughs> what is the water, man? The beginning of wisdom is to get mama. All right? With all you're getting, whatever you get, get mama, man. Understand it. Extol her, praise her, and she will exalt you. She will bring you to honor. And when thou dost embrace her, she will give to your head a chaplet of grace, a crown of glory she will bestow on you. Ooh, wee. Okay. Okay. Hey, back to, uh, <laughs> back to our journey in song. That's amazing. I think we get it. Seek thy name. So even the hijack, you could be ashamed and frighted. But if you seek the name, right, which is more than just you know, how to verbalize or call on, but really seeking the code. You can, you can change, man. You know, you, you don't have to be a hijack forever, man. <laughs> Verse 19, that they may know that it is thou alone, you alone, Hawa, whose name is Hawa. I am that I am, right? <laughs> the most high over everything, the most high over all the earth. That's amazing. Let's go. Psalm 89, jumping right in. Mishkil of Ethan, the Ez Ezraite, all right. I will sing of the mercies of the Creator, Hawa. Now that we know why we call it on our breath, our security. Hawa. Now, now we get that. Let's go. We call it all Framer Shaper, extolling her and him. 
<gasps> wow. Secure breath. Fifth and sixth letter of pictopalia. That makes sense, you know. I can explain that to a child. Just the first seven letters of the Hebrew, they will understand why we call on Hawa to get our food, to get our nourishment. And while we cut off and build a wall around that. Let's go. Let's get a couple more. I'm just journeying through Psalms. I will sing in the mercies of Hawa forever to all generations. Will I make known your faithfulness with my mouth? For I have said forever is my mercy built. Is mercy built. In the very heavens thou dost establish your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen. Who, who's Big Mama covenant with? <laughs> Who's, who's Big Daddy covenant with? Who's the chosen? I have sworn unto David. My servant forever will I establish thy seed and build up thy throne to all generations. Not JC. We don't need no Muhammad. We already have a chosen. We already have a shepherd. Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 34. We have a one shepherd forever. David forever. King forever. Prince forever. Khan forever. So shall the heavens praise your wonders a while. Your faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones. For who is who in the skies can be compared unto Hawa? Who among the sons of might can be likened unto Hawa? A power dreaded in the great council of the holy ones and feared of all them that are about him. O oh, Hawa, who is a mighty one like unto you, Hawa, and your faithfulness is round about you. Thou rulest the proud swelling of the seas when the waves thereof rise. Thou stillest them. You crush, you did crush Rahab as one that is slain. Thou didst scatter thine enemies with the arm of your strength. Thine are the heavens, thine also the earth, the world and the fullness thereof. Thou hast founded them, north and south. Thou hast created them to board and hermon. Rejoice in your name. Thine is an arm with might. Strong is your hand and exalted is your right hand. Righteous and justice, righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. We keep the cold. Mercy and truth go before you. Happy is the people that know the joyful shout. They walk hawa in the light of your countenance. In your name do they rejoice all day, all the day. And through your righteousness are they exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn is exalted. For our Lord, our Creator, is our shield, and the Holy One of Israel, our King. Thou spokest in a vision to your, to your godly ones, <laughs> righteous Nagas. And says, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of my people. I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him. Wow. A wow. With whom my hand shall be established. Are we confused? <laughs> I have found David with my holy oil. Have I anointed him? I'm not talking about the son of David. I'm talking about David. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact from him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat to pieces his adversaries before him. Are we going to get Psalm 18? <laughs> we got receipts. And smite them that hate him, but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, 
and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also on the sea, and his right hand on the rivers. He shall call unto me, Thou art my Father, my power, and the rock of my salvation. I also will appoint him firstborn. Ephraim is the firstborn. <laughs> Israel is the firstborn. Con David is the firstborn. Rex Negus, head not in charge, the highest of the kings of the earth. Forever will I keep for him my mercy, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. Who's the covenant with? I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil. <laughs> have I anointed him? So he's the anointed calm forever, man. He's the firstborn, not no JC. Who's the son? Can't get through the father without the son. He's the son. <laughs> but you don't have to go through David to get to the creator of Hawaii. You got to go to Hawaii. KTC, MHOE directly to even access your shepherd, man. Because the shepherd is not even of use to you if you're not a righteous flock. And you're not righteous if you're not in code. And Exodus 20 got us in code. Now we surfing away. Allah. The highest of the kings of the earth. Forever will I keep my mercy, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever in his throne as the days of heaven. If the children forsake my law, walk not in my ordinances, if they profane my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod. Why do you think you're going through this, man? This is existence talking. If you got a problem with your existence, if you ain't getting enough out of life, <laughs> take it up with existence. Maybe you are being visited because of your transgression with the rod. Don't be foolish. <laughs> be humble as you afflict your soul in this day of atonement. Understand why you're getting them strokes. Their iniquity was strokes, but my mercy will I not break off from him. So with all these strokes and with all this rod you're getting, Hawaii <laughs> will forgive your transgression when you KTC for real, for real. Because Hawaii's mercy will never be broken off. Never be broken off. From the cons, from the children, nor will I be false to my faithfulness. My covenant will I not profane nor alter that which has gone out of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness, surely I would not be false unto David. His seed shall endure forever. It's all good. <laughs> you can come up out of this hijack. Hawa's mercy lasts forever with the seed of David because the covenant is forever. And his throne as the sun before me, it shall be established forever as the moon and be steadfast as the witness in the sky. But thou hast cast off and rejected. Thou hast been wroth with your anointed. You've been mad at, you've been mad at, <laughs> at the creator, man. Thou has abhorred the covenant of your servant. Thou has profaned his crown even to the ground. We turn it on our own cause. Just like they did to Konse and Dragon Canoe. Thou has broken down all his fences. Thou has brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He has become a taunt to his neighbors. They 
Thou hast exalted the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou turned back the edge of his sword. It has caused, it has made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his brightness to cease. You cut the light out. You took the dragon away. And cast his throne to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. How long, my Nagas? A why will thou hide yourself forever? Huh? <laughs> Are we on our edges, Flo? Shout out to Dragon Canoe. Second Edges chapter 6, verse 59. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? How long, a while, will you hide yourself forever? Verse 47. How long shall your wrath burn like fire? Oh, remember how short my time is. For what vanity hast thou created all the children of men? What man is he that lives and shall not see death? That shall deliver his soul from the power of the grave. Where are your former mercies, Hawa? And we calling on Hawa, crying out for mercy. Get us about these slums, these hoods, these projects, these boroughs. Bring us back to our kingdoms where we are secure with the breath of security existence where we exist in Shalawa. Hawa. Were your former mercies, Hawa, which you did swear unto David. <laughs> you got to ask the creator, where are your mercies that you swore unto David in your faithfulness? Remember, Hawa, the taunting of your servants, how I do bear in my bosom the taunt of so many people. They say niggers and, you know, this and all, all this derogatory stuff towards us, right? They, they, they got all this stuff to call us behind, behind our backs, right? They got all these images to put on their TV, all this taunting. They're saying we savages. They're saying we come from the ape, apes and monkeys. Wow. <laughs> but why wow, we bear the, we bear these taunts in our bosom of so many people. Wherewith your enemies have taunted Hawa, wherewith they have taunted the footsteps of your anointed Baruka, be to Hawa forever. Hawa, Hawa, man, I mean. Just enjoying a journey through Psalms. Psalms 18. For the leader of Psalm of Dawi, the servant of Hawa, who spoke unto Hawa the words of this song in that day, that Hawa led him from the hand of all his enemies. So we're saying, Hawa, have mercy on us, and this is what happened. These are the receipts. You know, King David was delivered from the hand of Saul, who was a mighty knock. <laughs> Verse 2, and he said, I love you, Hawa, my strength. Hawa is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My power, my rock, in him I take refuge, my shield and my horn of salvation, my high tower. Praise, I cry, is the creator. I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death compassed me. The floods of Belial assailed me. The cords of Sheol surrounded me. 
The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon Hawa. I cried unto Hawa, my power. Out of his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry came before him unto his ears. Creator got ears. <laughs> Hawa got ears. Then the earth did shake and quake. The foundations also of the mountains did tremble. They were shaken because he was wroth. Smoke arose up in his nostrils. And fire out of his mouth did he devour. The creator got a nose. The creator got a mouth. The creator got ears. <laughs> Coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens also and came down. And thick darkness was under his feet. Creator got ears, nose, mouth, and feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yeah, he did swoop down upon the wings of the wind. Are you telling me the creator was also flying and has wings? <laughs> We all want to be under the strong wings of Hawa now, right? He made darkness his hiding place. His breathing about him, darkness of waters, thick clouds of skies. And he's breathing fire. I don't know, y'all. It just sounds a lot like a dragon to me. Not saying the creator is a dragon or must take dragon form all the time, but. I'm saying the creator can take any form the creator chooses at any time the creator chooses because you're talking about existence. The creator could be a butterfly, a dragonfly, or a fire-breathing dragon flying on the wings of the wind, okay. making darkness his hiding place, huh? his pavilion round about him, darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies, at the brightness before him, there passed through his thick clouds, hailstones, and coals of fire. A while also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High gave forth his voice, hailstones and coals of fire, and he sent out his arrows and scattered them. And he shot forth lightning and discomfited them. And the channels of waters appeared, and the foundations of the world were laid bare. So here's the foundations again of the earth, and now you can see them. Because Hawa, you know, and the channels in the water appear, right? Because he, he, he's, he's scattering off. <laughs> he's putting the lightning down. He's, he's popping off. Now you can actually see the foundations of the earth were laid bare. Does this describe a spinning ball to you? Does the spinning ball have foundations? So why is NASA telling us, is our public school and our scholarly people telling us that we are on a spinning ball man, <laughs> with no foundations when these foundations were laid bare at the at your rebuke Hawa, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils whoa he sent from on high he took me he drew me out of the many waters he delivered me from my enemy most strong and from then they hated me for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but Hawa was a stay unto me. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. This is a love story between David and the Creator. He didn't call on JC to be delivered, to be saved. He didn't go through the blood of J.C. <laughs> no, he called on the creator who heard him with his ears. Smoke came out his nose, fire out his mouth, <laughs> clouds under his feet, flying on the wings of the wind to save David and the people, the tribe who have the covenant of Shalom, covenant of peace. Wow. Verse 21, Hawa rewarded me according to my righteousness, keeping the code. 
According to the cleanness of my hands, he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Hawah and have not wickedly departed from my power. So no matter what type of smut they try to put on David, he has kept the ways of the creator. And mama says those are my ways. Mama said in Proverbs 8, they're my ways. Verse 23, for all his ordinances were before me. And I put not away his statutes for me, and I was single-hearted with him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore has Hawah recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and my eyes, or in his eyes, shall I, with the merciful, thou dost show thyself merciful. With the upright naga, thou dost show thyself upright. With the pure, thou show, dost show thyself pure. With the crooked, thou dost show thyself subtle. For thou dost save the afflicted people. We're going through a day of affliction, a time of affliction. We got to afflict our souls. It's more than fasting. It's being humble so Hawa can save the afflicted people. Keeping the cold, being cold keepers is better than fasting. Sacrifices of righteousness is better than that, that ox and bull and all that stuff, right? But the haughty eyes thou does humble, humble yourself. Anna, for thou does light my lamp, a while my power does lighten my darkness. For by you I run upon a troop, and by my power do I scale a wall. As for Hawaii, his way is perfect. The word of Hawaii is tried. He is a shield. We're talking security, breath, unto all them that take refuge in him. For who is Hawaii save the, you know, strong power? <laughs> who is the creator except your breath of security, man? <laughs> Dodging a translation. And who is a rock except our power? The power that girds me with strength and make my way straight. Who make my feet like hinds and set it deep on my high places. Wow. Wow. Who trades my hands for war. Talking to Kumse. <laughs> so that my arms do bend a bow of brass. Thou has also given me your shield of salvation, and thy right hand has holding me up, and your condescension hath made me great. Thou has enlarged my steps under me. And my feet have not slipped. Allow that's powerful. <laughs> but this is David talking, man, because <laughs> he don't light up on no ops, right? So <laughs> he don't lighten up. So he says, I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. This ain't no JC talking. <laughs> he went and got the ops. He went and got the enemies, the real enemies. He on his dragon, dragon canoe flow. He on his Joshua flow. It's David flow, right? <laughs> Neither did I turn back to... They were consumed. I have smitten them through so that they are not able to rise. Nah, he ain't, this ain't no play play. This ain't no turn the other cheek. Nah. They all fall under my feet. All the ops. All the enemies. The real ops. The real enemy. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou has also made my enemies turn their backs unto me, and I did cut, up, cut off them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to say. Man, David popping off. Even until a while. But he answered them not. Now they want to call the creator. The creator didn't answer them like he answered David. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the mirror of the streets. Thou has delivered me from the contentions of the people. Thou has made me the head of the nation. Deuteronomy 28. 
You'll be the head and not the tail when you keep the cup. A people whom I have not known serve me. Who is Prester John? As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. The sons of the stranger dwindle away before me. The sons of the stranger fade away and come trembling out of their close places. Hawa lives and blessed be my rock and exalted be the power of my salvation. Even Hawa that executes vengeance for me, subdues people under me, and he delivers me from my enemy. Yeah. You lift me up above them that rise up against me, Awa. Thou deliver me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks. Thou art unto Awa. Even among the nations, man. And will sing praises unto your name. Hawa, extol Hawa, praise Hawa. Ama ba, great salvation give he to his king, and shows mercy to his anointed. To David <laughs> and his seed forevermore. Wow. As we make our dismount, you know, um, I'll just read a few verses from each of the these psalms I got up here, man, and you know, leave a comment. And let me know what psalms you enjoy. And, you know, next time, we'll make sure we touch on some more. Taking a journey of psalms with a Naga perspective, <laughs> a dragonfly perspective. Ahab to the tribe, to the cons, to the flock. Ahab to the shepherd. Psalm seventy-four. Let's get a piece. Verse 12, yet Hawa is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou did break the sea in pieces by your strength. Thou did shatter the heads of the sea monsters in the waters. Thou did crush the heads of Leviathan. Remember we got that Leviathan was a sacrifice, a righteous sacrifice to feed the tribe that was in the wilderness and they called that the manna. <laughs> yeah. That's that high frequency. Uh, <laughs> that's the high frequency nutrition, man. You know what I'm saying? So thou did crush the heads of Leviathan. Thou gave him to be food to the folk and have any the wilderness and who was in the wilderness but not what's that manna about thou did cleave found fountain and brook thou dries up ever flowing waters thine is the day thine also the night thou has established luminary and sun thou has set all the borders of the earth thou has made summer and winter remember this how the enemy has reproached Hawa and how a base people have blasphemed, blasphemed your name. Oh, they do it to this day. Oh, deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the wild beast. Forget not the life of your poor forever. Look upon the covenant, right? We just got the covenant. It's with David. For the dark places of the land are full of the habitations of violence. Ain't that the truth today, even today? Habitations of violence. Let not the oppressed turn back in confusion. Let the poor and needy praise your name. 
Arise, O Hawa, plead thine own cause. Remember thy reproach all the day at the hand of the base man. Forget not the voice of your adversaries, the tumult of those that rise up against you, which ascended continuously. We pray for a water to rise up. Psalm 110. A water is asking for us to rise up and keep the code. Psalm 110. Psalm of Dawid. A water said, Until my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. It's clear to us that this is a Psalm of David. He's saying the Creator. <laughs> Said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand. This is a song representing David being told by the Creator, fall back, right? Said unto my Lord. My Lord will be like saying unto me, sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Just like we read in Psalms 18, how Hawa came to the rescue and the salvation directly and personally of David. There ain't no story about J.C. and his enemies being made his footstool, so you can't turn this into J.C. like some Christian lights like to do. They're Israelites, but they're stuck in Christianity, man. And ain't nothing, ain't nothing worse than a confused con, man. A confused con will lead the Nagas astray that are beginning to wake up. They're also called Mariachs. Mariachs are your brother that leads you to false idols like Yahweh like Christ, like the Greek anointed. And say Psalms 110 is saying, um, the Lord said unto Jesus, because <laughs> he's my Lord, uh, sit at my right hand. <laughs> So David is saying, the creator said unto my Lord Jesus. This is how they interpret it. Managa, they've made videos and said this. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, they even, they interpret it this way. So we had to go into the Targum just to prove that this ain't talking about no Jesus. This ain't David saying, the creator said unto my Lord Jesus. And David is not calling Jesus his Lord. This is a psalm of David, a song of David that they are singing. That the creator said into what they're translating as my Lord, but they're referring to David because this is his song, man. And David had to sit at the right hand until Hawaii made his enemies, his footstool, the rod of your strength. The rod of your strength, Hawaii will send out of Zion. <sighs> Rule thou in the midst of your enemies. This is all referring to David. Thy people offer themselves willingly in the day of thy warfare in adornments of holiness from the womb of the dawn. Thine is the dew of your youth. Hawaii has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever. Just like we keep reading. Ezekiel 37, con forever. David is con forever. David is priest king forever. After the manner of Melchizedek, priest king. Right, Zedek, priest, Melchi, king, Prester means priest, John means king. After the matter of Prester John or priest king or Melchizedek is David. The Lord at your right hand does crush kings in the day of his wrath. He will judge among the nations. He filled it with the dead bodies that get back. He crushed the heads over, crushed the head over a wide land. He will drink of the brook in the way. Therefore, will he lift up the head? Who's the head? We just keep reading about the covenant. That's with David. The cons on this earth don't get no higher than David, which is the Melchizedek. Energy, frequency, vibration, priest king, prester, John. How do we know we ain't talking about JC when we read my Lord? 
Take it to the Targum for the dismount. The Targum manuscript. Psalms 110. Let's read it together. Composed by David a psalm. The Lord, Hawah, said in his decree to make me Lord of all Israel. So instead of us reading, the Lord said to my Lord. <laughs> Right. The longer version would be instead of the Lord said unto my Lord, the Lord said in his decree to make me Lord of all Israel. <laughs> but he said to me, wait still for Saul of the tribe of Benjamin to die, which is what happened when you talk about Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings. Right. So Saul had to die. For one reign must not encroach on another. You can't be king of Israel if Saul's the king of Israel. So you know what? In his decree to make me lord of all Israel, fall back and wait for the time of Saul to be at the end. And once it's at the end, afterwards, I will make your enemies a prop for your feet. Sit at my right hand, I will make your enemies your footstool, a prop for your feet. Now we know we're talking about David, right? Because we got the context of King Saul, whose reign had to pass for David to reign. David had to fall back, take a seat. <laughs> Sit at my right hand, I got you. I will make your enemies your footstool. The Lord said in his decree to make me Lord of all Israel. But he said to me, wait for it. Wait still. Sit on my right hand. Wait. For Saul of the tribe of Benjamin to die for one reign must not encroach upon another. And afterwards, I will make your enemies a prop for your feet. Another Targum translation will be. Hawa spoke by his decree to give me the dominion in exchange for sitting in study of Torah. <laughs> Wait at my right hand until I make your enemies a prop for your feet. Another Targum translation might be, Hawa said in his decree to appoint me ruler over Israel, but Hawa said to me, wait for Saul, Saul of the tribe of Benjamin, to pass away from the world, and afterwards you will inherit the kingship, and I will make your enemies your footstool, right? A prop for your feet. <laughs> it's a lot more uh, attention to detail. Sit in my right hand. I make now they can try to put Jesus in this without the context, right? But as soon as we get the Targum translations and more context, they fizzle out and they don't say nothing else, boss. Because they're being false witnesses on Hawa, false witnesses on David. They are out of cold Nagas, Madiak Nagas. Bringing false idols, trying to squeeze Jesus in to my Lord. Like David is saying, hey, uh, the creator said unto Jesus, sit at the right hand, because that's my Lord. Hawa said in his decree to make me Lord. Of all Israel. Hawa will send from Zion the rod of your strength and you will rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people are those of the house of Israel who devote themselves to the Torah. You will be helped in the day of your making battle with them and the glories of holiness. The mercies of Hawa will hasten to you like the descent of dew. Your offspring dwell securely. Secure breath. Hawa has sworn and will not turn aside that you are appointed leader in the age to come. Are we talking King David in the age to come? Hawa. Like Jeremiah say, whom I will raise up unto you. 
like Hosea 3 say, search for Hawa and King David. <laughs> and come trembling to Hawa and his goodness in the end of days. Wow. wow, you are appointed leader in the age to come because of the merit that you were a righteous king. So this ain't just David being appointed in the age to come and that age has now passed because King David has died. No, because King David has lived a life of a righteous king, he will now be appointed leader in the age to come. Oh, wow. We're getting more descriptive, more detail. The presence of Hawa is at your right hand. He struck down kings on the day of his anger. Psalms 18. He was appointed judge over the Gentile. The earth is full of the bodies of the slain wicked. He smote the heads of kings on the earth. Very many. He will receive instructions from the mouth of the prophet on the way. Because of this, he will lift up his head. Whom I will raise up unto you. <laughs> God. Psalms 110. Psalms 91. It's a short one right here. Let's get it. O thou that dwells in the co covert of the Most High and abidest in the shadows of the Almighty, I would say, of Hawa, who is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and whom I trust. That he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. And he will cover thee with his pinions or his wings, my naga. The creator got wings. And under his wings shall you take refuge. Whoa. Creator got ears and <laughs> nose, mouth. Breathing fire and got wings. His truth is a shield and a buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by the day, of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, my naga, and ten thousand at your right hand, my naga. It shall not come near you only with your eyes, shall you behold and see the recompense of the wicked the get back is real for you has made the creator who is my refuge for thou has made the creator who is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall be no evil befall thee no evil no wickedness shall befall you Neither shall any plague come near your tent, my naga, for he will give his angels, his dragons, charge over you to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee upon their hands, lest they dash thy foot against a stone. They shall tread upon the lion and the asp, the young lion and the serpent shall they trample under feet. Them dragons, man. <laughs> Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, and I will set him on high, because he has known my name. <sighs> wow. He shall call him upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him. Not JC. <laughs> I am his savior. I am your Savior. I will rescue him. Bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and make him to behold my salvation. Allah. Wow. Psalm 93. Psalm 93. Awa reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Awa is clothed, he has girded himself with strength. Yes, the world is established that it cannot be moved. What? We're just taking a journey through Psalms. Shabbat Shalom. 
Torah only such, Tanakh only such. <laughs> hey, we're just journeying in our Tanakh. Let's go. Yeah, the world is established, man. That it can't be moved. So how did they get to spinning on a ball? I don't get it. All throughout the scripture, it's talking about foundations, firm, fixed, and immovable. And the world that is established, because it has foundations, that it cannot be moved. And now you want to explain spinning on a ball at 1,000 miles per hour, NASA? But you can't show us one live feed that shows the earth spinning and call it as the world's as the world turns, as the world spins. <laughs> we can't get that live feed and see the world spinning from a satellite because the world cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up. Oh, wow. the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring above the voices of many waters. The mighty breakers of the sea. Hawa oh, wow, on high is mighty. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becomes thy house. Hawa oh, wow, forever more. Psalms 27 for the dismount. You know, we just belly flop. A wise my light, my salvation, whom shall I fear? A wise the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers come upon me to eat my flesh, even my adversaries and my foes, they stumble and fail. Though a host should encamp around me against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, hijack city. Even then will I be confident. Ka. One thing have I asked of a while that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Creator all the days of my life, to behold the graciousness of Hawaiian, to visit early in his temple, for he conceals me in his pavilion in the day of evil. He hides me in the covert of his tent. He lifts me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies, round about. Wow, and I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices with trumpet sound. I will sing, yeah, I will sing praises unto Hawa. <laughs> Hawa, when I call my with my voice and be gracious unto me and answer me. In your behalf, my heart has said, seek you my face. Your face, a while will I seek. Hide not your face far from me. Put not your servant away in anger. Thou has been my help, cast me not off, neither forsake me, O Hawa of my salvation, my secure breath. For thou, my father and my mother, have forsaken me. Hawa will take me up. For though my mother and my father, so even if everybody, brothers, sisters, mothers, cousins, everybody, everybody forsake me, everybody leave me. I know I got my secure breath. And all praise to God, we always have each other. Teach me your way, Allah, and lead me in an even path because of them that lie in wait for me, Allah. Deliver me not over unto the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses are rising up against me. And such as breathe out violence. If I had not believed to look upon the goodness of Hawa in the land of the living, wait on the Creator, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yeah, wait thou for Hawa. And that's when we say, How much longer shall we endure, right? Because we're waiting. We patiently wait in Monagas. Psalm 90. 
a prayer of Moshe. Let's go. Man of man of Awah. Awah, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art Awah. Thou turnest man to con contrition, and say it, return, you children of man, for a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it passed. And as a watch in the night, thou carriest them away as with the flood, they are as asleep in the morning. They are like grass which grows up in the morning, it flourishes and grows up in the evening, it is cut down and it withers. For we are consumed in thine anger, and by thy wrath we hurried away. You have set our iniquities before us, a while our secret sins. In the light of your countenance. And now we make atonement. Have a Baruch day of atonement. Have a Baruch. You know strong. Weak. Strong of atonement. Tabernacles. Remember a while. Is your only salvation. And our secret transgressions. Are in the light of our creator's countenance. For all our days are passed away. In your wrath, we bring our years to an end as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and even by reason of strength, four score years. Yet it is pride, but travail and vanity. For it is speedily gone. Vanity is gone, and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger and thy wrath according to the fear that is due unto you. So teach us to number our days that we may get us a heart of wisdom. Return, O Hawa, how long, right? <laughs> how long, would you say, Edris? How long shall this endure? Because... A wise saying the world is made for our sakes, that we are the children, that we are the covenant. Why do we not possess an inheritance right here? Why are we being enslaved in captivity? We know why. Because we have not listened, we have not hearkened, and we have not kept the code as a community. For a very long time and the fact that we're trying today we are so much further than we've been in a long time and you better believe that and all it takes is a few good nuggets a few good nuggets to keep the cold how long a while and let it repent thee concerning your servants oh satisfy us in the morning with your mercy Satisfy us with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, according to the years wherein we have seen evil. Let your work appear unto your servants and your glory upon your children, O God, upon their children. And let the graciousness of our Creator be upon us. Establish thou also upon us the work of our hands. Yeah, the work of our hands. Establish thou it. Because we want to make sure whatever we building is established by a wa. Last one we'll get on the way out the door is nine verses for the nine code. <laughs> Psalms chapter 3, Psalm of Dawi, when he fled from Absalom, his son. Because remember, they were having tribal war even within the house of David. Oh, 
But wow, how many are my adversaries become? He's talking about his own children, man. His own house. Many are they that rise up against me. Many there are they are that say of my soul, there is no salvation for him in Hawa. But thou, O Hawa, are a shield upon me, about me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. With my voice I call unto Hawa, and he answers me out of his holy mountain. Yeah, the real holy mountain. <laughs> Not the one they're walking around. 350 mile, you know, uh, you know, what they call them, Hodges, and, and, and nah, man, we ain't talking about that cube, they walk around in Indiana, we ain't, we ain't talking about, you know, what they doing, what they call holy, we're talking about the creator, we're talking about the creator, I lay me down and I sleep, <laughs> sounds like that, Nursery rhyme. Now I lay me down to sleep. All right. This is where they're getting, man. Right out the Tanakh, man. Tanakh only session. Verse 6. I lay me down to sleep. I lay me down and I sleep. I awake. For Hawa sustains me. My soul to keep, right? <laughs> and I am not afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. We ain't afraid of no hijacks in hijack city. It is what it is, and I am that I am. Allah Hawa. Arise, O Hawa, save me, O my power. We ain't calling on nothing else. We ain't calling on no one else. We call on Hawa, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheek. Thou hast broken the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs unto the creator. Hawa. Thy Baruka, their blessings upon thy people. Selah. Halawa. Salvation, salvation belongs to the creator. The Baruka be upon the people forever. The blessings. Deuteronomy 28. You want to be Baruch when you walk in? Baruch when you walk out? <laughs> Baruch everywhere you go. Abundant blessings of abundant Baruch. Abundant love. Abundant Aha. From Awa. Keep the code. Keep your Shabbats. Put the most high over everything. Get the covetous out your heart. Stop bearing false witness on your brother. Stop bearing false witness on your sister. Stop being jealous of each other. Stop fighting each other. Stop killing each other. Stop the insatiable hunger and thirst for death. Remember Hawaii. Remember the cold. Remember your vibration. Remember the strength in your loins. The covenant. Hawaii's mercy is forever. No more vanity on your name, Hawa. Your breath of security that we seek forever. No more adultery. And we will honor our frame and our shaper forever. Can we keep the code? That sounds about right to me. Can we keep the code? Can we return, seek Hawa? Because salvation belongs to Hawa. Hawa is your only savior. <laughs> Isaiah 43. I, only I am your power. Beside me there is no other. Your Baruch be upon the people. Allah Hawa. Verse 7. You know, the hijack's going to want to satisfy <laughs> remotely and engineer chaos. <laughs> but we keep the water flowing. 
And at the same time, at the very same time, we keep the fire burning. Knock only sessions with Khan Drop. Baruka. Be on our people forever. Salvation is only Hawaz. And the name we seek is our breath of security of foundation and revelation forever. And David is the calm forever. Because <laughs> he got the covenant and he got the keys. Multiple witnesses. Repetition after repetition, one shepherd. But you don't get that shepherd without being a righteous flock. And you don't get righteous without the cold. And Exodus 20 got us in cold. The water for surfing the wave by not. Nine ether above the barrier. Four, three, two. You know how we do. <laughs> hey, put our power first. We never lose. M H O E K T C. Then we got that water flowing. So we going to be dripping in that man's song. Shabbat Shalom to the car. And we did it again. We did it again, man. True Ahab to all my noggins and drop nation. You know, surfing this wave until you become the water. No matter how dark it gets, my noggins, just know that. Hawa navigates through the darkness and <laughs> makes darkness his hiding place if he has to. Because it has to shine from within you and sometimes you don't see that light until you're in that darkness, you know what I'm saying? So you got to believe in yourself, you got to believe in that light. That is not something that can be quenched, it's not a fire that can be put out. <clears throat> if, if a wah got you, a wah got you. Can't nothing they do put out your fire. We got not because I've been have faced everything. Like the Kum say, even faced death. We got Nagas in the prisons, man. Behind the walls. We do it for the Nagas behind the wall. And after all the Nagas behind the wall, we know you're getting this transmission, man. We know you're getting this message. And we're with you because we know we still behind enemies' lines. We still behind the wall right now. We all in this together. There ain't no separation. The water for your frequency, my nuggets. The water, the water for your vibration. Stay up. Suit up. And choose up. Drop nation. <sighs> wow. For the hot car. Keep the fire burning. Shalom.